nice semester and that you're excited to be back at Berkeley, or at least excited to be taking this class. I'm Alex. Hi, I'm Amber. Jonathan. And the first thing we're going to talk about really quick is enrollment. I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering why there are no seats. And it's quite simple, really. There's only really 40 spots in this classroom. Um, we enrolled 45, expecting a few of the students to drop right off the bat just because of schedule conflicts, and we waitlisted 10 students. We had 200 applicants, um, so it's, it's really tough to get everyone in the class. Uh, what that means, though, is if you're here right now and you actually aren't uh, officially enrolled, that means you didn't receive an email inviting you here and your name isn't on the front of the website. Um, we do ask that you, you leave just because this is a fire hazard and um, there, there are no seats. Uh, if you're legitimate in, legitimately enrolled, hopefully we'll get more seats throughout the semester and figure this out. Um, it does look like more than 40 people right now, but, you know. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Um, if you are waitlisted right now, um, it is unlikely, if you're far down that list, that you're going to be able to get into the class, just because you can see there's already not enough seats, and that's what it really is. That's really, that's really our limiting factor. We'd like to enroll more students, but this room is only so big, there are only so many computers, and there's even only so many chairs and workspaces, so it's just not an option right now. If you are still interested in taking the class, but you can't make it in officially to this, this semester, um, we should have your application, and we'll be able to cross-reference that next semester if you are interested in uh, applying again. And then we can give you some kind of priority. Uh, an important thing is enroll enrollment via telebears isn't enrollment in this class, because our class actually has a uh, whole application process that you have to go, to go through. And the CCN showing up and being able to find the class through telebears is more of an anomaly than... Um, anything official, so we're we're going to be auditing that that list. And if you are uh, if you sign up to the class via Telebears, but you're not officially enrolled via our our system, then you will be dropped from the class. So I'm not going to go through this, but this is basically the um, the the instructions, I guess, or how to properly get enrolled in the class. I'm sure most of you guys here are here because you you went through this. Um, and today we're just going to talk about the next step, which is actually getting the CCNs and registering an account on our website. Or hopefully, we actually are waiting for class account forms, but you know, we'll see. Um, so here's today's agenda really quickly. We're going to introduce ourselves a little bit more in depth, then we're going to give you um, a little overview of what topics we're going to cover this semester, and then we'll show you some examples of what you should be able to do by the end of the class, and we'll go over um, some important need-to-know facts for the syllabus. And then we'll demo the course website and show you how to download assignments, submit assignments, and actually view your grades in real time, your uh, absences and missed assignments and party assignments also. And then we'll do a little bit of teaching. It should only be about 20 to 30 minutes of teaching. So I know you guys, it's late, and you guys probably want to go home. So we won't teach too much uh, today. So we're just going to talk a little bit about, about the internet for about 20 minutes or so. And then at the very end, we're going to split you into two groups. Uh, Mac and Windows, and we're going to talk about, or we're going to help you just basically set the software that you need for this class. So this is us, um, and our emails are here. So if you need to contact us for any reasons, um, individually, I mean privately, me, John, or Amber, you can use those emails. If you want, if you have just general questions or you have uh, questions on assignment or anything, you can send an email to staff. It's also probably better that you send it to staff since it goes to all of us. Yeah. Um, unless otherwise you want to specifically contact one of us. So staff is probably the best email to contact all of us as soon as possible. Yeah, so if you send an email to that, that bottom email address, it's going to send an email to all of us. So that's the quickest way to get a hold of um, get a hold of us if it's just a general question. If it's something you know specific that you need to talk to either one of us about, you can use these emails. And actually, if you have I'm going to talk about this later too. Actually, if you have questions regarding an assignment or the material, we also have, we also have a chat room on the website, and we'd like you guys to use that if possible. Um, we'll check it regularly, so you should get you know a still pretty immediate response to it. Um, but that's just so you know, if you have a question, it's it's very likely that your peers or your students also have similar questions, and so everyone will be able to see your answer. And then we're not you know repeating email uh, repeating questions and things like that. And then you know even if we aren't able to answer an email or respond to your chat room really quickly. Maybe someone here sees the message and then they can help you out um, before we can. So. 
That's always a crush. So a little bit about me. I'm actually a fourth year EECS major, and I'm going to be graduating actually in December. So I'm not graduating in spring. Um, my portfolio site is here, and I specialize in doing freelance web application work. So I've done a little bit of consulting. I do mainly uh, graphic design and development. I've also done a little bit of print work. Um, just some websites that I've, I've done some work for. And right now I'm actually, I started a company over summer, and that company is a, uh, it's a web application. So it's a uh, import-export management tool, but it's still about websites. Um, and my, I guess my main passion is startups and pet projects. So, that's, that's Okay, hi, I'm Amber. Um, I'm a third year Geeks major. Um, I've been doing websites since I was like in elementary school, and kind of embarrassingly, I, my first websites were like Sailor Moon and Harry Potter fan sites. I am um, <laughs> currently TAing CS169, which is a software engineer, upper division software engineering class. Um, and this year is an emphasis on web development with Ruby on Rails. So I'm not. I think we're expanding the class. So if that's something you're interested in, you can come talk to me later. Um, I'm also doing some cloud computing and distributed systems research over at the Rad Lab. And this is my portfolio. I'm Jonathan. Um, so my web experience pretty much comprises of obviously HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which you'll be learning here. Um, I've done Rails, PHP, and uh, some Java and JSP stuff. Um, most of my web experience like comes mainly from uh, partnering with Alex, doing a lot of projects um, together. Um, fun fact, I'm a huge basketball fan, but mainly a Lakers fan, so <laughs> hopefully I've created some friends, maybe <laughs> some enemies here. Um, so yeah. And it was pretty interesting. Um, Amber talked about Ruby on Rails, and that's something that we'll talk about again at the end of the semester. It's a framework that we're all very in love with, I guess. It's something that we, we use all the time, and it's basically the next step after this course. So this course is, uh, I'm going to talk about it in a second. It's an introduction to um, web frameworks, HTML and CSS, and then Rails is kind of the next step of that. So we'll, we'll talk about that again um, when we wrap up the course in a couple, couple of weeks. So the first topic that we're going to be covering in this class is HTML and CSS. We're going to spend about two lectures on HTML and about five lectures on CSS, HTML, and designing your typical website. HTML and CSS, for those of you that aren't familiar with it, is basically the bread and butter for your, your websites. So that's what almost all websites are comprised of. Um, it's the main language. So we're going to spend the most, most of the time on that. We're going to teach you how to write HTML, how to write CSS, create professional looking websites, upload them and download them, all of HTML and CSS. Um, the next thing we're going to talk about is JavaScript. And JavaScript basically goes on top of HTML and CSS. And it gives you some functionality in terms of interaction with your website. So it gives you, it makes kind of a, allows you to do like cool effects, uh, some animation. So I'm sure you guys are all familiar with Flash. Um, JavaScript allows you to do some similar things that aren't quite as advanced, but um, it's just more compatible than Flash. So it's what we're going to mainly, mainly be focusing on. Uh, the last two topics we're going to talk about are MySQL, uh, which is a database, and PHP, which is a server-side framework. And we'll explain what that means later. We're going to spend two semesters on that each. Um, an important thing to note about us covering these two topics is they are a little bit more in depth. And they're not something that we're going to cover um, very, very thoroughly. So we'll expose you to databases, how to interact with them, what you want to use them for. We'll explain PHP, also why you want to use that, how it's used in the industry. And we'll um, have some small assignments in those languages for you guys to play around with to get to know it. But we're not going to be able to, um, you know, teach you all that PHP has to offer or all that databases has to offer uh, in the span of this course, just because there's so much material. There. Okay, so we want to show you a couple of examples of like really nicely designed websites, and these are all achieved with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which is what you guys will be learning in this class. So I guess the idea is that you guys will be able to create these kinds of websites at the end.
You guys have all seen the decal website. It has nice floating fish via JavaScript. Um, and you can also drag this around and kind of like scroll it up and stuff. So this is all JavaScript. Um, next one is my personal portfolio. Um, and I have a nice JavaScript like carousel here. And it's my design portfolio, so it's kind of like artsy looking. And it has nice hover effects with JavaScript. And everything's like nicely styled with CSS and HTML. Um,